Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is the 5th of September. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit join me on Discord. Uh, let's talk about these daily problems every day for the rest of the month. Come hang out. Okay, so today's problem is orderly queue. Uh, and before we start, just want to say that I usually start these live, so watch it on your own speed. Uh, and I don't know if to, I, I usually say we should celebrate stuff, um, but I in the last two contests, I finished a little bit out of the top 100. So I, is that good enough? I don't know. Let me know. Uh, but basically, I, I was top 110 twice. So that's uh, that's my reason for now. Anyway, okay. Um, let's look at today's problem, which is orderly Q. So you give me a string S and a K. You could choose one of the first K string S and return the Lex. Okay. And... So one thing that I would say is that when you think about any number of moves, um, you can, you know, uh, think about it. But in this case, the, one of the first K. Okay. Hmm. So, so if K is equal to 1, then we just do a type breaking from every smallest thing, right? So we just sort and then that's n square ish. What happens if n is uh, basically like some rotation of s is the answer which k is equal to 1, right? What if k is equal to 3? Hmm. I feel like this is a, a trick question. Uh, let, let's start. So k is equal to one. Let, let's write this down. Right? K is equal to one. The answer is a rotation of x s. Right? What's k equals to two? What does that mean? <clears throat> um, like my my question is, can you just literally sort the string right uh, on two? So let's just say you have a b a b just something like that. Say um, you can even add more letters. So I don't know if adding more letters changed the answer that much, but if k is equal to 2, then what does that mean? First k letters. If k is equal to 2, then we can de facto. Can, can, what is the strategy for k is equal to 2? That's what I'm trying to think right now. Mm. So what happens after one iteration? Uh, after one iteration, you keep one character in the front as kind of the temporary wearable, if you want to call it that. And then just loop, and then you could think about um, if you have two rare, two numbers, right? Or sorry, two characters in the front. You can think about one of them as the variable, and then the other one is just rotating through the entire array, right? Um, and can we do anything from th that observation? Um, so you could either get the min or the max. Does that does either of them help? Let's say we get the min. Right? Hmm, this is a, an annoying problem. <laughs> Let's say we get the min and then we push it to the back. Does that change anything? I guess what I'm trying to think is, is uh, try to think if there is any strategy that we can do to kind of sort the string, right? Because given enough K, we can definitely sort the string. What is that? look like hmm okay this is too long so <laughs> let's try with something even dumber so let's just do a b c d right or maybe let's just say it's backwards right um then what happens then here we can hmm, what are some strategies that we can do right we can go to so let's just say we move to C and we put D in the back. So then we have B, A, D. And then here we keep... 
mm, we, let's say we keep B for some reason. I'm just playing around with this, so don't hold me to it. And then now we put the, so then now we have A, D, C, B, and we have A in the beginning. And we already did is rotated to be honest, um, kind of. And then now we can rotate again. So now it's A, B, um, D, C. But then now, now this is sorted, right? So then now we can, let's just say, uh, put A and a B in the back. So now we have D, C, A, B. Can we... And then now, let's say we move the D to the back, right? So then now we have C, A, B, D. And then eventually, um, you're going to get the C, D, A, B again. And then now you could put the C in the back. I think I've messed up, actually. I think here already, you can already put the C in the back. So it's A, B, C, D. And then that's already sorted, right? Now, can I generalize this? <clears throat> yeah, because I think basically what you're saying is that you want to get one character at a time in a way, right? So basically, for example, and you can, you could, so you can keep on looping on a thing. So then this becomes a, a min and then it becomes an insertion sort. So if K is equal to two, you can sort the string. And if, is that true? Let, let me play around with it a little bit more. So basically, let's just say we have, okay, I banged on the keyboard. Um, so then here, we let's just say we keep A in the beginning, and and then here in the rest, we just have uh, D, D, this in some order. I mean, I guess this is the same order, right? Um, and then now, so now we have A in the beginning. So then now we go, we sort the second character, say, um, by, my, my space key is a little stuck. So now, how do we get the second smallest character, right? So, well, we put the A in the back. So now we have this, for example. And then now we just keep on rotating until we get the second smallest character. So then now we have, um, let's just say, um, well, let's just say D-R-E, uh, D-A-W-E-R, um, keeping the second one. Um, and then now let's just say we know that D is the second smallest character. So then we t rotate it until A, A goes to the back. And then now we put D behind it, right? And then now we could do the same thing. So I think after K equals 2, because, and because K equals 2, if, if K is equal to 3, you, you don't even have to use the third ca character if that's the case. Um, so that means that in that case, if K is greater than 2, I might be wrong on this one, though. To be honest, I didn't. I, it's an intuition uh, you, with food test cases, but um, but yeah. So okay. So actually, if k is equal to one, we do this thing with the um, with the rotation. Um, can we do it in better? better? Hmm, I don't know. Otherwise, we return a sorted version of. S, um, hmm, join it again, I think, maybe. Uh, so, okay, Let, let's see if this works first in code. So, ooh. Um, uh, let's do two. two. Does it return? Okay, so this does return what I want. And in a cheating kind of way, we see the expected answer. So I think I'm more confident about it, though that part is cheating. But uh, but yeah, we have to figure out this part, which is just, um, you know, uh, the answer is a rotation of S. So we can... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm maybe there's a... Uh, there's a fun way of doing it, but but I think that's still um this log. No, that's gonna be at least O of n. So that I think that's still O n square. If we do some kind of sorting thing, so yeah. So let's just do the thing, which is that for. Start is in range of n, where n is length of s. 
then current is equal to s of um, to start mm, let's just say best is equal to s if s if current is less than s then best is equal to, oops if current is less than best best is less you go current return best okay so let's give it a submit okay cool um yeah uh, <laughs> i don't know how to explain this one that well to be honest you saw what i did i think what i did was i just thought is it i think for me i just thought like for k equals two um is there a special case for k equals two if not is there a case for k equals three i had an intuition that for k equals three um that's enough things to kind of uh be be sorting um but i wasn't sure about k equals two so that's why I was kind of going through the cases and trying to think. And once you are able to do it, it becomes kind of like insertion sort is the way to think about it. Um, I don't know how to kind of, I mean, I know how to explain the reasoning, but I don't know how to explain how to get there. So that's what I like about this video maybe is that you kind of saw how I did it, which is just took a lot of examples and play around with it and see if I could get there. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be n squared time because... Yeah, this sort. So this is an n loop, and this comparison is all of n, so it's gonna be n square. You know, it's pretty fast n square. Um, otherwise, it's just n log n. But in the worst case, it's gonna be n square. So, yeah. Uh, in terms of space, I guess this is linear, but you can actually do better. Uh, but this is also linear, so maybe you can't. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's all I have for this one. What a silly problem, I think. But yeah, uh, I'll talk to you later. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Have a great rest of the week. Have a great Sunday. I'll see you later. And to good mental health. Bye-bye.